Good afternoon, my name is Pop. This video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics shows a little bit about how you can use the Google Cloud to good advantage on an Ubuntu computer. I used to use Ubuntu One and then Ubuntu One went out of business. I also got Dropbox and Dropbox is pretty nice. It offers five gigabytes for free and there's a public folder that you can put your stuff in that you want anyone and everyone to see. Google offers 15 and it's when you install it it also has a folder but I found out something interesting there's more to it than that it's more to it than just putting stuff in to a 15 gigabyte folder in the cloud and then retrieving it you can also do something else you can get Google Docs and Google Docs allows you to have their suite of spreadsheet and word processor and so forth and it's different from LibreOffice Writer and LibreOffice Calc. Well the nice thing is that if you put a spreadsheet here on your laptop and it's in the cloud that spreadsheet when you change it will change automatically and when you open up that same spreadsheet on your telephone you can edit it on your telephone or the word processor and it works really nice. This is quite a beautiful spreadsheet also in the sense that it is icon oriented and is far more pretty than LibreOffice Calc and actually it's far more pretty than Excel. It has been written from the get-go with icons in mind and touch screen in mind. It does not do everything that LibreOffice Calc does. In fact, Calc doesn't do everything that Excel does. It is limited a little bit. However, for 99% of the time, it works very, very well. If you make a change, you don't have to save it. It saves automatically. And the word processors, uh, it's the same sort of thing. The uh, word processor will take an ODT file and convert it you will notice that there are some differences in the way that it handles margins, in the way that it, it handles reflow and uh, such things as that. But all in all, it's pretty good. Now, this is a uh, story, and that was a spreadsheet. And I've also got a folder. I've got an EPUB. I've got a movie. Uh, another movie. Another untitled spreadsheet. And if you want to create, well, you just go up here and you create. Now, you've got to go open up Chromium. And then you uh, go to your own cloud. Well, that's a bit tedious. So what I did is something else. I made myself a keyboard shortcut. And I showed in a prior video how to do this. I just hit Control-Alt-K and popped this up. Normally, you would get that up here in system settings and uh, but instead of doing that I created a keyboard shortcut that creates the keyboard shortcuts so when you go to shortcuts here you go to custom shortcuts and go to the very bottom and you can make yourself a new one and I call this one Google Drive and let me zoom in on it a little bit and you can see it you type in Chromium dash browser and then just paste in the HTTPS stuff and make one and then after you make it you have to give it your own arbitrary uh, key command and here I went control alt G and control alt G is going to bring up now the Chromium browser control alt G and you'll see that it just pops right up well, the nice thing uh, about this, as I say, is if you change something here, immediately it changes on your telephone. So you could be at work, not have your Ubuntu computer, and you can do some editing, you can do, you can do some reading, and let me show you some screenshots now of what my phone looks like for that same thing. When you go to your phone you'll go to the Play Store and you'll open uh, up a new app uh, and get sheets and get docs and uh, 
let's say you just tap now on sheets and it'll show you the sheets and here's the one that I had open on the screen and there it is turned sideways and there it is and no kidding you can go to the phone change any value and it'll be saved in the cloud or you can go to the one on your laptop change any value it'll be saved to the cloud and it's more or less instantaneous uh, it's a very good looking spreadsheet you can enlarge all of the cells as much as you want so that it gets large enough to work with fat fingers my name is pop and I have got a whole bunch of videos on YouTube called Ubuntu Basics and I thank you very very much